According to businessday.ng, Nigerians lost about 300 billion naira this past few years. Now this keeps me wondering why would Nigerians keep losing this amount of money every year to different Ponzi schemes. And no matter what form they come, these tips will help you to guard against their malicious practices. Alright, welcome back. But before we go into the different tips that will help you support these Ponzi schemes, I want to I want to first share with you some reasons why people fall to this Ponzi scheme. Now, what are some reasons why people fall to this Ponzi scheme? Some of the major or some of the common reasons are one: people are looking for easy money. Easy money. The concept of easy money. Now, the truth is that there is no easy money. Another reason why people fall prey to this Ponzi scheme is because these people tell them that there is zero risk. Now, people don't want to take risk. People always like the guarantee something. So, people don't want to take risk. So, these people claim that this, this investment scheme has zero risk. And that is why people troop in and jump in. And also, people that are so, so desperate easily fall prey to this kind of Ponzi schemes. So, quickly, we're going to talk about the different ways you can spot these Ponzi schemes. What are the different ways you can spot these Ponzi schemes? Now, number one, let's say someone introduced this Ponzi scheme to you now. Before you just jump into it, it's very good you do your research. What are some things you need to research about? You need to research about the company. You need to research about the address if they have a physical address. Of course, a legitimate business should have a physical address, not just an online address, a physical address. You also take try to know the founder of this company or this investment scheme. Try to know the founder. Try to know as much as you can about these people. Also, try to find out if they also register with the security and exchange commissions of the div of wherever country they are located so you have to find out all these things these are some of the things that will help you to make a wise decision the number two thing that will help you to guide yourself against this fraudulent investment scheme is to be financially educated how financial education now it doesn't cost anything to be financially educated or to be financially knowledgeable you just have to go online read things about financial literacy now what is financial literacy financial literacy is just simply the understanding of how money works if you know how money works you're financially literate so you need to know how money works so that when these people come with their ponzi scheme and, and promise you heaven and earth you will you be able to know that wait this is how money works money doesn't work this way and what are some of the questions you need when to ask people to do this fraudulent investment scheme so you, you should ask yourself some questions one of these questions is how do i bring value to this business of course they ask you to invest do this they ask you to just bring out your money you should ask yourself what is what what is my contribution to this business one thing that this financial education will help you to understand is that no business is predictable you can't predict any business no business will give you a fixed return every time no so you have to understand that there is no business that comes without risk there is risk in every business there is risk in every business it's either you lose your money or you make a profit so you must understand if these people are not telling you that that if these people keep claiming that there is zero risk then i think that is a red flag that this is a ponzi scheme they, if they keep telling you or promising you that that your safe, your guarantee, your investment, is, your investment is guaranteed, your investment will be multiplied by 100%, by 10% every day, every week, or every hour, then I think you have to run away because that is a Ponzi scheme. The final thing is that you ask yourself, how does this business compensate my effort? The different role, the role I play in this business, does it compensate my effort? So with these few tips, I bet you'll be able to filter out this fraudulent investment scheme no matter how they come, no matter the name they come with, or no matter the strategy they use. Now we understand that so many of these different policy schemes go as far as and using celebrity endorsement just to add some, some legitimacy to their to their brand but no matter how they come no matter how loud they they seem to appear no matter how many people are jumping into so you have to follow this simple tip so that you not fall victim to this fraudulent investment scheme maybe you've you've, you've been a victim before these different tips will help you to filter out and do your research and it will help you to make wise decisions on my subsequent videos i'm going to make make a video on how you can create value different ways business create value so so maybe when i release this video you will see different ways business create value and if these businesses that that introduce themselves to you do not create value in any of this way then you know that this is really not a legitimate business all right thank you very much